buddy hanging out with me down here. We're having boards ripped in half one inch thick for flooring in those little cottages, those five two boats. So uh, Mama's overseeing it and we're overseeing the overseer. <laughs> <laughs> My application said supervisor. <laughs> So we're here at the house with this wood. These are the one buys right here. And that's just what I want it to look like is get this nice color to it. I want all the saw marks in it like that. I don't want it plain perfect. I want it to have a little bit of rustic. It's real bright color like this when they first cut it. This will be the bottom side where they split the blade through there. But any of that, after a few days, it starts turning like this and then it'll get darker like this and eventually even dark like this down here. Um, so these will be the bottoms, this will be the tops on any of that where they split it like that right there. That will all point down. And it's going to make a beautiful floor when we're done. I'm excited for that. And we got a few other 2x5s uh, for a few little things we need to finish out there also. Keeping the receipts on all of this, so I'm going to do a total on all this building and uh, share it with you all. All these pieces, there's 32 of these 10 footers, one by one by six by tens there's um two ten foot two by fives there's four eight foot two by fives and all of this together cost me let me look so it's eight thousand five hundred and forty pesos for this truck load which they've already been unloading some of it and taking it around back but that was all of it together Listen, put them screws down very straight. Don't run them at no angles, okay? Straight, <laughs> straight. So it, it'll look way better. It looks pretty good, though. You can sink them just a little bit more, a little okay. deeper if you need to. But just later. Yeah, just keep going. About like that, yeah. It's about the way I want it. Yeah. You put some of the sealer too. Right? I mean, the construction adhesive also, right? So that's why I told them to do each one right where it's being screwed down to put construction adhesive underneath it at each place. Not only is it bonded, but it keeps that. Keeps that squeak, squeak, squeak out of the floor when you're walking on it over time, too. Plus nails versus screws. Might add a little bit more right on that, put it right down in that joint, yeah. That way it'll seal that joint at the same time. That's going to be a beautiful floor when it's done. Now I think you're going inside a little bit too far. You need to move. It. Yeah. yeah, you need to no, no. Yeah, I think it's hot now. No, I think you're you're getting to the inside of the board too far. You need to come out more. Yeah, you need to be out here. There you, there you go.
I didn't want to go with real wide boards. First, it's hard for them to cut them. And then the second thing is, is they'll end up cupping on you where they'll get a bow in it. So the narrower wood, you have less chance of that. Yeah. You got a um, you got a level bar. Is it here? Yeah. Uh, uh You got something else that's really straight, a real straight piece of wood. Yeah, that piece of plywood. We need to make a mark here where he can keep track. He don't veer off and start missing the wood out here. So you make you some marks that way you can see it out here on the other side each time. Had him stop and get some lines pulled here. Because he had already veered off right here and then he missed. And I said, not, not wait, let's get a line pull so we know exactly where it is. Sure enough, he moved over here, he hit it. So I said, don't put any more until we get these lines pulled and you know exactly where you're putting your wood down at. If you're going to shoot that in the middle, we need to be about, about, about right there. That is construction adhesive. This is a brand that City Hardware sells. There's some other brands too. You got to work with this one pretty fast though. It'll get a skin over it quick. So you don't want to put a bunch down ahead of yourself. But. 135 pesos for that tube right there. Construction adhesive, but it's pretty good stuff though. Man, that air feels good. Boy, the wind's blowing. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Man, that breeze feels so awesome. And uh, welcome to another day here in the Philippines, joining in with us on this video. Uh, another day of the easy life. Maybe some of you live it a little bit easier than I do. I like to be hustling and going. Sometimes I overwhelm myself a little bit, I will admit. <laughs> We're still no rain here, and I, I saw that I had a commenter set up and where they are in Luzon, too. Still no rain. But I saw Commander Dot his uh, video that they are flooding down there in his part of the country. And our friend and subscriber Tom up in Capiz on the north end of this island, up by Rojas, he also commented that they got a bunch of rain up there. And I said, well, I guess you are catching it across the mountain chain between us and him must be backing those clouds up right there and kind of like the way it does at deserts you know and uh only on a smaller scale it must have put the rain on them and just drained the clouds you joker why'd you have to steal our rain for <laughs> and uh man it is just nothing but just dust here man i mean it is just dry dry well i got my little young bull here you know, I just bought this from a neighbor in here. I bought, it, bought him, and this is just a little old small breed, little Brema. You know, these things you see them all over the Philippines, skinny. But um, he's never, his daddy was actually bigger than him. A little sucker butted me. 
<laughs> he just gave me a butt. Anyway, his uh, his daddy was definitely bigger than him. But I've got some uh, vaccinations I'm going to give him here today. So I asked Marvin to bring him here. There was a little bit of green grass where I've been running a sprinkler that he can nibble off and hang out in the shade here for a while. And then uh, I've, I've got some wormers and all that I'm going to give him here. And um, that ought to help him out quite a bit. And you guys didn't see it before, but I'm probably going to do it again today. Um, I walk him. I, I should have I should have shared that content with you guys. But sometimes I just don't have a camera readily available. Um, I don't carry it with me, everything that I do. And some stuff I just do spur of the moment. But here a while back, he had a bunch of ticks on him. And I took him out into the ocean. Yes, I did. Yep, you remember that day, huh? Huh? You remember that, huh? And uh, <laughs> I took him out and walked him out into the ocean. He was a little hesitant at first, and he got on out there, man. When he got about halfway up his rib cage, he just saw, man, and just stood there and relaxed. And Marvin went out there with me, and we rubbed around, and we pulled those little ticks while I was out in the salt water, and and uh, just gave him a good salt water bath all over. Man, did it help him. And for the couple of weeks after then, man, he just blossomed, man. His whole demeanor changed about him. And I'm going to take and give him a salt bath again today also. And when I say salt bath, I mean taking him out in the ocean and salt water. Well, let's go over here and... Uh, See what else is going on that's a little bit of opening for today's video but what's happening is we're continuing to build the the native wood cabin that's being built with mahogany and bamboo and all here so let's see what's happening with this and another day on it so yesterday evening they started shooting the floor down and this morning they've continued They just about got it done. sent these screws from the U.S. Hold on, I'm about to show those. These are those deck screws that you can buy at Home Depot, Lowe's. This is Deckmate right here. Um, put these in a ballot buying box. I wish I'd spent a lot more of them. They're, they're cheaper when you buy them in big bulk. I wish I'd bought the, the big deal of them instead of this size. Um, definitely wish I had, but these are the... Torx head, as I'll call star drive Torx head, um, and vinyl coat it, coat it, and then you see it's got a little ridge in there. It kind of locks and cuts it in too. Yeah, so um, that will definitely be nice and strong up here on all this. It's like he's doing a great job. I just got a pair of chainsaw and knocked the top of these posts. Be careful, man. And, uh... So anyway, I knocked those in. I'm gonna put in these top pieces.
spot should be solid. <laughs> so now we need to go down here and notch the other end. I guess we'll go. Uh, maybe not. We might be just below it. We'll see. Yeah. Set the ladder down there and I'll chainsaw the top on those then too. Notching these in and trying to record without a trying to record without a tripod or an associate. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna notch this out right here with the chainsaw so that two by will sit in right there, and then we'll hammer it on. Yeah, it's funny at the commenters commenting about us building something out here when what's that right there right down the drainage probably flood what's this right here what's this right here all of that and then over here but somehow we're the problem <laughs> Uh. Uh, we want to measure the length on that again. Yeah, do the same thing. Whatever the spread is on the bottom is what the... Is that it? You go make a mark. I'll chop it for you. What's it need? Lock, come here. So it's going to be different than 
a normal stick build because the, um, the way that we're going to put the siding on it, we don't need the pieces going up and down. We need them going side, beside, side to side. Anyway, I'll show it as we go along, but right now, Mock's going to go around and put these two by twos around the bottom perimeter right here, except in the front where sliding glass door is going. It's going to put that construction adhesive underneath it, nail it down. Y'all probably have to work together because you'll probably have to nail it like that and then pull the curve out of it. Yep. Yep. All right. And let's check on with them later after they work on that for a while. I'm gonna give a total on this because I tell you what, an expat moving over wants a cheap place to live uh -huh. and build it solid better than just bamboo. They might, you know, want to give an idea of something like this, and uh, it's solid. You, you know, be a whole lot safer than just the bamboo and a strong wind. You know. This mm -hmm. board like this reminds me of. Went to see Ronnie Millsap in concert. Yeah. And he went, and he had at the edge of the stage, right on the edge of the stage, he had a, a board like this. That way he'll know not to walk yeah, off. He, walk, he walked up and he touched that with his toe and he said, y'all think I'm going to fall off of here, don't you? <laughs> and he said, but my band assures me that there's three feet on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike, put one nail in right into that post that way too. Make everything strong. Yeah take advantage of all the strength we can. There you go. This is how you get salted beef right here. Salted beef, that's sure. Well, I did not take him out in the water today. I've had other things going on. Um, we got all of the perimeter wood up around on the frame. Um, Joel had to plane a bunch of boards, him and Mock Mock did, try to get some of them that were too thick up in the front and work that down. Um, and we started putting up the framework on the walls. And the reason that it's run like this is because it's gonna get a bamboo siding on it. So we're gonna put a marine plywood on it, but then on the outside of that, we're gonna put bamboo. And uh, that bamboo siding, I need these across in order to nail into, to nail into for going across like that. I wouldn't even have to put plywood actually if I just want to go bamboo only, but I want it solid in behind because uh, I want it free of bugs and places creatures crawling in. But they did good. They got the rest of the flooring down. Had to do quite a bit of planing. 
and started getting all this uh, wall up it was I made it a little slower than what I wanted to see happen today but I had to come out here and got them step by step of how I'm wanting it they don't really know until I tell them how I'm wanting to build it um, they're never really been into like building with wood too much mostly just doing concrete work so uh, they're just kind of leaning with me and going along and some of it as I say it oh yeah that's how we did it on something before and they know and they know uh, they know about doing this little wood here but they didn't know what was in my mind so we're making it happen and the guys uh, got two more gabions in out there today we're trying to beat before any next storm or typhoon and lock that in and, and they're excited about that the neighbors and all are excited about it because uh, it will shore the beach up even more which will protect a lot of people's homes even right here next door uh, so that's pretty cool and we're just making it happen so one other thing I can tell you is there's a basically like a maybe say like a two foot by two foot window and it's going right there and the back here will be a CR a little CR and above the toilet will be one of those hatch awning top windows right there and uh, it's gonna be high enough that first of all from the ground down here you can't see anything up there you'd have to have a ladder or climb a coconut tree to see anything and then next it'll be up above any of the body line for anybody that no one can you know invade someone's privacy and see them through the window or anything because um, it'll be up high inside the CR and that's the dealio with that so that's the reason there's a spacing here like there is because that board's going up and up just making a simple little basic frame we're not building an American home we're not trying to do this American our western frame out around windows this is a simple little beach size structure okay there will be a wall inside there'll be a shower right here and I'll show how I'm gonna do that too to protect this and not ever rot or anything and then uh, there'll be a wall across right here somewhere and then the bed will most likely be right in this area here a little door going into the CR down at the end all the way over to that wall and then there'll just be like a kind of like a living area in the front right there um, then right in the front up here is going to be a patio door there will be a porch down on the front of this so I think it's gonna be pretty darn cool when it's all said and done appreciate you watching on the build right here that we're doing and we're just uh, taking it day by day, step by step. I really hope that this might strike some of your interest. If you like the video, uh, comment, let us know, give us a thumbs up. If you wanna know when more content like this is coming out, uh, make sure if you go check and see if you're still subscribed. That's another thing I like to say is many people have been telling me that they realized that they were um, somehow unsubscribed from our channel. That happens a lot on a lot of channels. Go check, make sure you're still subscribed. I would appreciate that. Hit for that notification bell so that if I upload content or if I go live to do a live stream, you'll get a notification and you'll know it and not miss out. And let's stay strong with this community and this channel and I appreciate you all very much. Is this Wednesday? <laughs> yeah. I must be. I'm wondering, like, why they not leave fast? Oh, it's advance day. That's why it's advance day. Wow. She she up there getting it right now. You already tell her. Oh, you're waiting for me to go tell her. What? Nah, you can sit here. I don't care. I don't care. Log, you better go tell your sister. Yeah, I'm scared of that. <laughs> Brand new, huh? <laughs> You're brave to put your nose there. <laughs> uh.